almost every species in our planet have some special powers to defend themselves from other animals or other types of threats. For example, snakes like copperhead, viper, king cobra bite their enemies and drive them to the line of death. Some specialized clad of lizards like chameleons changes their color according to their surroundings to protect themselves from birds and snake. On the other hand, we humans have developed our technology and created shelters and weapons to fight against the enemies and other natural calamities. But not all animals have the power to avoid or kill their enemies like us. Some animals have developed a unique ability to regrow their lost body parts completely and the process is fast, like sev from several weeks to a few months fast. Hey guys, this is Vineet Kumar and here are some animals who mastered in regenerating their lost body parts at remarkable speed. Number 1 is Deers. Deers possess big and sharp horns known as antlers. Only male deers have these beautiful and sharp antlers. They are primarily grown during their mating season. They begin a small bony growth at the top of their head and are covered with a layer of skin and hairs known as velvet. This velvet keeps the antlers protect while they are fragile. These are also used to fight against the enemies as they have sharp edges and can easily penetrate through the skin. Antlers are used to make gelatin and several medicines and kept in houses as a decorative material. Luckily, these horns can fully regrow within a span of 4-6 to six months. Number 2. Hydrectina Also known as snail furs, because of the fuzzy appearance it gives the surface where it colonizes. Hydrectina is an organism related to jellyfish and sea anemones. It tends to accumulate on the shells of other marine creatures. It may sound a little spooky, but if you cut off their head, they simply grows another one within a span of few days using these embryonic stem cells. Number 3. Lobsters Lobsters can lose their limbs due to the vicious encounters they have with their enemies or other lobsters, but they can regenerate them back by shedding their exoskeleton which is known as molting. Their body tissues absorb the water and swell up, resulting in the rupture of exoskeleton. After a successful mold, the, lo the lobsters eat their old skeletal, giving the animals the calcium it needed to harden the new shell. Young lobsters can mold up to four times a year, whereas an adult one can do it once or twice every year, depending on their physical conditions. Number 4. Salamander After losing their limbs or tail, the local differentiable cells immediately form a layer called plastema. These cells then differentiate and produce all the specialized tissues of the limb including muscles, bones, nerves and blood vessels. The process can take anywhere between 2 to 3 months. Number 5. Zebrafish Zebrafish are one of the key genetic model systems for vertebrates regeneration research. Two features have made zebrafish an informative model system for determining mechanisms of regenerative events. First, they are highly regenerative, able to regrow amputated fins as well as the lesioned brain, retina, spinal cord, heart and other tissues. Second, they are amenable to both forward and reverse in genetic approaches, with the research toolset regularly updated by an expanding community of zebrafish researchers. Zebrafish studies have helped identify new mechanistic underpinning of regeneration of multiple tissues and in some cases have served as a guide of contemplating regenerative strategies in mammals. Number 6. Moon Jellies Fishes like moon jellies swim using the ocean currents and thus have to be highly symmetric. Although they have no brain, jellyfish have somehow been smart enough to survive for more than 500 million years. The reason behind their long existence is their amazing ability to shift up the remaining body parts after amputation. After losing a limb or other body parts, they simply push their muscles in order to regain symmetry until the parts are grown back. Number 7. Starfish Some species of starfish have the ability to regenerate lost arms and can regrow an entire new limb in a given time. A few can regrow a complete new disc from a single arm while others need at least some part of the central disc to be attached to the detached part. Regrowth can take several months or years and starfish are vulnerable to the infections during the early stages after the loss of an arm. A separated limb lives off stored nutrients until it regrows a disc and mouth and is able to feed again. Here's a fun fact about starfish. 
Sea stars live underwater, but that is where their resemblance to fish ends. They do not have gills, scales, or fins. Sea stars live only in salt water. Sea water, instead of blood, is actually used to pump nutrients through their body via a water vascular system. Moving forward to number 8 and the last one is exolotl. These fully aquatic salamanders have an amazing ability to regrow their lost body parts like limbs and even repair their spinal injuries. The first step that occurs in the regenerative pathway after amputation is the process known as de-differentiation of cells. What happens in the cells at the site of amputation lose individual characteristics. The cells after differentiation become pluripotent like cells. It's like making stem cells where, uh, where you need it and when you need it. These cells then create a structure known as blastema, which is round cover on the wound where the newly de-differentiated cells concentrate or concrete. These structures then develop into a fully functional limb with no sign of the previous damage. The whole process can take anywhere between 2 to 3 months. So which of these animals do you think is having the unique ability and can be used for further researches? Let me know in the comment section below and I will see you in the next video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.